are all standing under a glass ceiling right now. That's right, Hillary, we're all living under a dome and the earth is flat. But how do we know it's flat? Well, why don't we just have a look at this excellent flat earth proof by the potter's clay? We're looking at the page Beyond Horizons here, and this is the current world record for the greatest distance captured with a zoom, 443 kilometers. So the distance from Pic de Finistrel to Pic Gaspar is approximately 275 miles or 443 kilometers. The potter's clay included a link in the description so you can see for yourself that this is not a flat earther with an agenda taking these pictures, but just some enthusiastic photographers yeah, proudly showing their work and their long distance record. They also include a map to make sure you know just how ridiculously far they were actually able to see. If you do not trust the information or the distances given in this example, I encourage you to double check that for yourself. <laughs> okay, um, luckily the potter's clay did the math here for us and yeah, let's have a look at how much curvature we should see at a distance of 275 miles. The calculation goes like this, 275 miles squared times 8 inches divided by 12 inches to give us feet and that's 50,416 feet of missing curvature. Which is quite impossible if we live on a globe, folks. But alright, let's test one more for good measure like the potter's clay suggests here and let's have a look at Grand Ferrano. If we take a look at this mountain, which is only <laughs> 392 kilometers or 243 miles away from the observer in this example, the calculation goes like this. It's 243 miles squared times 8 inches divided by 12 inches and that gives us 39,366 feet. <laughs> Grand Ferrano is 2,758 meters high, which, um, yeah, means it's 9,048 feet high. And if we now subtract the height of this mountain, from the curvature we just calculated for the distance between the observer and that mountain, we have 30,000 feet of missing curve. <laughs> and yeah, the peak of this mountain should be hidden behind 30,318 feet of Earth. And yet it's clearly right there, okay? <laughs> Come on, guys. That's almost 8 miles of missing ball earth that should be in your way, but isn't if you're keeping score at home. Of course, many Globe fans will now object that you have to take into consideration the height of the Observer 2 for this example, but no worries guys, the Potter's Clay did exactly that for you in his original video. I'll leave a link in the description. And while we were at it, let's just have a look at this other brilliant video by the Porter's Clay in which some Globe fans accidentally prove it's flat. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, guys. God bless you and have a nice day. If you look up an image of the Earth and Moon, you're going to get a picture where they're quite close together. Something like that. But in reality, the Earth and Moon are about, about that far apart. That is the Earth and the Moon to scale. Taking the same concept, but for the solar system, every single picture of the solar system that we ever encounter is not to scale. If you put the orbits to scale on a piece of paper, the planets become microscopic and you won't be able to see them. There is literally not an image that adequately shows you what it actually looks like from out there. The only way to see a scale model of the solar system is to build one.
We have 36 hours to measure the distances, trace out the orbits, and set up a time-lapse shot from up on top of a nearby mountain. To create a scale model with an Earth only as big as this marble, you need seven miles of empty space. At this scale, the sun is a meter and a half, so about, about that big around. So we are driving right now to Mercury, and we've arrived. Venus is the same size as Earth. I have the world in my pocket somewhere. And Earth. robots rolling around on that one. Once the time lapse is ready, we'll drive each orbit with a light. Hopefully you'll be able to tell just how big they really are. Onward to the outer planets. Jupiter. tiny light out there is our sun, just over a mile away. The sun's way, way out there now. So this is it, this is the edge of the solar system.
Easily 200 pounds. How were you able to lift him with just one arm? I don't know. I think it's... I think it's because I'm Flagman!